on the furthermost edge of the spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy, far from the action, around the backwater planets and suburban suns, chugged the salvage ship Drifter, a mobile monument to the conservation of energy and the recycling of scrap metal. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> On the bridge, her devoted pilot and builder Flotsam surveyed his domain with an eye trained to spot the tiniest detail in an endless void. With the help of his great, great, great grandfather's brass telescope, in all the years I've been dealing in salvage, I've never seen anything quite like it. <laughs> Mind you, I love the look of it. A box with little windows. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> I've got to have it. Bridge to boiler room, flotsam calling Jason. Jets! Jets! Can you hear me? Boiler room, come in, please. Jets, wake up! I know you're there. I can hear you snoring. Hey, what? What do you mean, snoring? I was just humming to myself, that's all. You better get shoveling, Jets. We need a good head of steam. <laughs> Jets got shoveling. Yeah, good head of steam, eh? That can only mean one thing. The old villain spotted something and he's going after it. So the drifter made speed, soon overhauled the motionless TARDIS, and swallowed the little time capsule in one gulp. Well, well, what have we got here? I don't know, Jets, but it's nice, isn't it? What are you gonna use it for, Flots? It ain't got a motor, has it? I mean, you can't strip it down. I've just got a feeling about it, you know. I think it's something special. What do you think, Dutch? Out of me? Or of her? Uh... Dutch's brain was windmill-powered. It needed a burst of air to operate. I need the bellows. He needs the bellows. He needs the flippin' bellows. <sighs> Someday that robot will get caught up in a hurricane and blow his little recycled mind. But until that happy day, the bellows. That's it, Jeff. Yes. Pomp of air. I think I've got it. Yep. It's obvious. First, we'll take a sample. This my high-speed diamond-tipped drill. It doesn't seem to be having much effect. Inside the TARDIS, the Doctor sat deep in meditation. What on earth is that dreadful noise? I have bent my drill! Oh dear. I see. If you wanted to come in, all you had to do was knock. What am I doing here? But the way we're hoping you tell us that. Why should I? So who are you anyway? Hmm? We are the directors of the uh, Backwater Scrap and Salvage Company. And we just collected you. <laughs> what? I've been called a lot of things in my time, but never scrap. I'm not obsolete yet, you know. By the way, I'm the Doctor. Could you have a butcher's at my back, Doc? He's been playing me up somewhat chronic, hasn't he? Oh, tch. Good grief. What an extraordinary robot. I am a living sculpture. God, do you beg your pardon? Yes. Oh, so that's where I put it. Scrap company, you say? What a marvellous coincidence. Have you got a non-variable oscillator? What kind of cycle? About 400 hertz. Where, where did you get that thing? Oh, we just picked it up recently. Genuine salvage. I'm working on it myself. Oh. Oh. 
Don't worry, Doc, it's deactivated. We do quite a lot of these. Uh, we reprogram them and sell them as butlers to rich folk all over the galaxy. They're very fashionable. <laughs> well, thank goodness. I nearly had a double heart attack. Look, here's your oscillator. May I ask what you want it for? Hmm? I'll show you. Walk this way. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, perfect. Won't be Jeff. Now. Hmm. It's hot chocolate. Drink up. Gangway. <laughs> <laughs> Resistance is useless. <laughs>